Hi all, welcome to this video tutorial on embedded system. In this tutorial, we will be dealing about the structural description of embedded system. So throughout this video, we will be covering object representation in UML, class representation in UML, inheritance and multiple inheritance in UML, links and association, and some previous year questions. First, let's look about object. So object is nothing but the principal component of an object oriented design. Consider apple as an object. So here we have object apple and it has color red height is equal to 7 cm weight is equal to 100 grams so there are several attributes these attributes becomes variables in programming languages so the two things we have to remember is we have objects and the objects have attributes in case of uml we dealing we are presenting the object as object name colon class name so here d1 is the object name displays the car class name also we have the attributes pixels menu items we don't know much about this attribute so we use comments just like in programming languages we can also use comments here by using this rectangular box with right fold so here we are describing it as pixel is a two-dimensional array it's a comment and it's known as not in uml so there are several things to remember Objects are represented by object name, colon, class name, and objects always have this underline, and this is described by node, and it has a right fold rectangular shape. And that's all. Let's look about the class representation. So class defines the attributes that an object can have, and it also defines the operations. So operations are nothing but how the object interact with the rest of the world. So here we have a class car, and it have objects like Mercedes, BMW, Audi. So this class have objects and these objects can objects have the same characteristics of the class but their attribute value might be different like the color is an attribute and everything every object has an attribute called color but the color of the Mercedes is green here is blue here is orange so the attribute value might be different but it have same characteristics so we'll, let's look about how it is represented in UML so there is no colon and there is no underline we are just giving the class name as such and we are giving the attributes also and we are giving the operations also and it's a comment here so this is how we represent classes in uml let's look about some relationships between object association it's kind of relationship from one class to another class there is no kind of parent relationship in association Next one is aggregation. It indicates that one class is made of um, another classes or one object is made of, of another objects. Composition. It is a strong aggregation. And we have generalization. Generalization is important. And this is represented by using a triangle or arrow. And this is also known as inheritance. So let's look about inheritance deeply. Inheritance in UML. So this is the same class which we described in the previous slide. We have a display class. So I'm going to derive two classes. That's one is black and white display class and another one is color map display class. So I need these two displays so that I have to inherit the properties of the main class or the parent class display. So I'm using the color map display to inherit all the properties of the display class as well as black and white display to inherit all the properties of the display class. So which from which class we are deriving the properties are known as the base class. Here display is the base class or the parent class. And the classes which derives the properties are known as the derived classes. So here we have two derived classes that is black and white display and color map display. And the both classes also known as the child classes. Let's look about multiple inheritance. In the previous example we saw a class, a parent class has two child inherited classes. In this example, we will be dealing about two parent classes and one child class. Here multiple inheritance. We are inheriting properties not from only one class but only from other classes also. So inheriting properties of more than one classes is known as multiple inheritance. Here we have speaker and display both are the base classes or parent class and multimedia display is the child class. So it has all the attributes of the speaker class as well as all the attributes of the display class. Together with display and speaker, the multimedia display is built. So let's look about links and association. So link describes the relationship between objects. So first of all, let's look about the classes case. In case of classes, we call it as association. 
in case of objects we call it as link so this we have to remember because between classes association between objects it's link so here we have a class called message and another class called message set both are having their attributes and there is an association here so this line indicates there is an association between this class and this class and the association defined as here 0 star and 1 what is this values so let's look about the 0 star of this message class indicate that the message class can have more than 0 or more objects like it have can have 0 1 10 100 or any number of objects but the message set class can only have one instance of object an instance of the class that is one object only at a time so it is the association here describes now let's look about the object of the same classes here we have a message class object and another message objects so we have two message objects it means zero star we have more than zero objects and here we have only one object of the message set class that is only one instance here so it has an attributes its own attributes and values here there is a definition and there are two objects because we give and count as two you can have any attribute values uh, you prefer to give and one thing to remember here is between objects it's called link and between classes it's called association so association indicates a relationship between two objects and here another thing to differentiate between the classes and objects so class have no underline but the objects has underline and classes are the type definitions which means the attributes can receive string type of value and this attribute can receive integer type of values and the object has instead of type definition it has the values that is message is equal to a string length is equal to a number so it has a number values so that's all now let's talk about some previous year questions so the question is show the UML representation of an object and a class so it's pretty simple and it has four marks so we need to define an object and class representation uh, of a mobile phone here I'm taking mobile phone as an example in the class diagram I'm just giving mobile as such because there is no underline there is no colon so this is a class representation and I'm giving an object name redmi8 colon the class name so this is an example of the object so it is how we differentiate also the parameter values I'm giving here the attribute type definition that is it can receive integer values integer values so it here is type definition and I'm giving the actual values for the objects so it's also one thing to differentiate between class and object and you can have a number of or operations you like to give also another question is draw the class diagram for a basic micro oven cooking time should be adjusted from 1 minute to 16 minute include classes for door front panel and heating elements so it have 5 marks so the question describes that we have to diagram for basic micro oven so I'm drawing a class diagram for microwave oven and it's clear that it have the classes for door front panel heating elements so I'm drawing door class and I have a front panel class and I have a heating element class so I have three classes also I have micro oven class here so the question is to this should be included so we know that these classes using are used in the microwave oven so microwave oven is consist of doors front panels heating elements so I am inheriting the properties of the door class or I'm inheriting the properties of front panel or I'm inheriting the properties of heating element so this is an example of multiple inheritance and you can have a number of parameters or attributes you like to give like number of doors number of front panels width of heating element height of heating element etc also you can give a number of op operations you like to give another thing we have to consider here the cooking time should be from 1 minute to 16 minute so i'm giving an attribute cooking time and the value for this is an integer from 1 to 16 so i'm using a common this is known as not I am using a node to define that cooking time attribute value must be from range 1 to 16 to define this thing. So this is enough for this 5 mark questions. So here we have a multiple inheritance with a node and that's all. So we learned about how objects and classes are represented in UML 
the inheritance and multiple inheritance in UML and the links and association. Thanks for watching.